my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you just really quickly how to do your hair. Um, if you want to wear clip-ins, basically. I have short hair, so this is for my gals with the short hair, the bobs. I have done many clip-in tutorials before. I know some of you probably new to my channel, so you, and if you're new, welcome. I hope you like my channel so far. And I got some new clip-ins. So yeah, this is basically how I get a full head of hair with one set of clip-ins. These clip-ins are from KRS hair group and they are the nappy extensions. It looks real, it feels real, um, and it is great for African American textures. This is the hair once it's been straightened, but when it is how you get it out of the pack, it is very big and blown out. Um, it looks like blown out African American hair. If you were going for that look, I just felt like it needed to be straight because <sighs> yeah, girl. This is what the hair looks like on me, how long it is. It is, I believe, 22 inches, I wanna say. I'll put all the information you need in the description box, but this is some really great hair. If you have like a perm or straightened natural hair, this is for you. Excuse these two minions that decided to pop up on my face. I'm not gonna let them cramp my style. No pimple formed against me shall prosper. I did a middle part and some front bangs just so they can cover my little pimples. But also because I feel like it looks better and more realistic when it is in a middle part. I will show you guys how to put the hair in and do a side part, but I feel like it looks more realistic when I have it in a middle part, just because my hair itself is so short in the front that if it is in a side part, it's like you can see the pieciness. So I feel like with this, it just looks like I had bangs and they kind of grew out or something, but the rest of my hair is long. If you were trying to give that, oh, this is my real hair look, then that would be ideal. So um, I'm talking a lot and I'm just gonna go ahead and let you guys see how I do this really, really quick. As you can see here, I have the first couple clips already in my head and I've applied the bigger ones to the middle of my head. What I try to do is get most of the volume in the middle to cover up those shorter pieces in the back. Depending on the cut that you have, if you have a bob or an asymmetrical kind of cut, the top of your hair tends to be a little bit longer than the bottom half of your hair. So I try to get the longer clips in the bottom half. That way you will have a lot more volume down there to cover up those shorter, choppier pieces. The top part of my hair can serve as my bangs, um, so I don't really try to fill that up as much as I do the middle and lower half of my hair. So I have the largest clip, which is I believe six clips on one track in the center of my head, and then I have underneath that a five piece clip, and then I have a four piece clip underneath that. And I'm sorry I didn't show it, but my camera was not recording for some reason. So now I'm going to go ahead and go to the top and the sides. I fill in where I need to, depending on where you're gonna put your part, you're gonna want to disperse those shorter clips evenly throughout that top section of your head just to fill in the front part so it doesn't look so PC in the front. I try to get as much on the back and the sides as I can. So I'm just filling in where it needs to be filled in so that my hair uh, mixes and mingles well. You guys, I really don't have a method to my madness. I honestly just throw the clips wherever they look best and where they can lay flat. And that's basically how I put my clip-ins in. It's not really like anything spectacular that you can do. It's just put them in where they fit. So here I'm just putting a three clip track, kind of like in an L shape, just to fill in more of my bang part that's gonna be on the side. And I'm just adding in more shorter clips where I need to, uh, just to fill up that top part. If you're going to be wearing a side bang, you want to put a lot of volume where your actual bang will be so that it's not like super short bang and then long hair underneath. It doesn't make sense. So just try to fill it in wherever it makes sense to you and where it looks the most natural, where it will fall the most natural, etc, etc. So this is what it looks like in a side part. I did really like how PC it looked on one side where um, you know, it looks a little shorter. I wasn't feeling that, so I decided to take the last clip that I put in, which was a two clip track. I decided to take that from that middle section of my head and move it over to the side so that it filled in the other side so that they both look symmetrical and put my hair in the middle part. I'm just flipping my bangs back like I've done in my previous video, my previous hair video, which is the cutting and styling layers. If you haven't seen that, you should check it out. It helps you understand how to cut layers and things like that. If you wanted to cut layers in your clip-ins, I don't suggest cutting layers just because 
you don't really know if you're gonna put the clip-ins back in exactly the same every single time. At least I don't anyway. So that's why I just use my bangs to kind of give it a layered effect and then flat iron the rest so that it all matches seamlessly. And since this is a coarse texture, it matches my hair perfectly so I don't have to flat iron too much. Um, and that's the beauty of these clip-ins. So yeah, that is pretty much it. I hope that was helpful to you. If you guys need more help putting in clip-ins, I have other tutorials that will be up in the card section. So yeah, check it out. Clip-ins are really easy to put in. I just wanted to kind of give you guys a little bit of tips on how to do it. In the video, I did not show when I moved this one clip right here. I moved it from over here. In the video, I put it in over here because I have a side part, but I ended up moving it around and then re-flat ironing my bang just to show you guys what it looked like in the middle part too. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. All the information you need will be in the description box. If you wanted to know what is on my face, I um, did a makeup tutorial and I will have that coming for you guys soon. Let me know if you guys want to see a series of makeup tutorials for fall or if you guys want to see a compilation of fall eyes and lips, how they match together, whatever. Oh, also, my nails is a gel color. I have no I idea. Found six reminders. The first one is new comforters and pillows. Then, Ikea, lap shelf, organizers, mirrors, hair drink, cinnamon rolls, cactus. Then, chair, plants, and a table for makeup room. Why are you talking? Do you want me to read you the rest? No, Jarvis. Okay, I won't. Why was Jarvis talking? Anyway, if you want to know what this color is, this is a gel polish that I got from the nail shop. Um, and I don't know what color it is, but it's like a burnt orange pumpkin color. Just feeling fallish, so I decided to do something fallish, you know? But anyway, um, that's all that I want to say. I'll talk to you guys in my next video, okay? Bye.